Hey everyone, Sakura Yasin here, and today I'm doing a review of the XP Pen Artist 22 HD um, tablet monitor thing. And I'm joined uh, by Flavia, Hello. who also used the product uh, more extensively than I did. And uh, I'm in Photoshop right now, um, and this is really my first time uh, using the program for an extended period of time. And you can see I wrote fail there. And you might have noticed that there was a bunch of straight lines. Um, what happens is it seems the driver screws up and then when you're using the brush tool, you just end up with these, like it just starts making straight lines for no reason. And sometimes you can cure that by just using the brush more and more and eventually it resets itself so, or um, you switch tools. Um, and then that solves uh, the problem. Um, but sometimes it's so severe that you actually have to restart your computer because the, the tablet cursor thing just disappears. Um, so whenever you see fail written on the screen, um, that's the reason. So uh, the product itself, well, it's much less expensive than a 22 HD Cintiq. Um, how much is it? It's 639 euros compared to, like, it's a thousand euros uh, less expensive. Yeah, we looked on Amazon and the Cintiq was 1,639 uh, for the Wacom Cintiq uh, 22 HD, and then this one was 639 euro. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we saw on Amazon.com, the American uh, site, it was. Uh, $860, and it was on sale for 609 Yeah, so so really, um, they're aggressively targeting uh, Wacom, it seems, but only in terms of price. And um, there's a lot of these Chinese companies, and they seem to be using uh, technology from UC Logic, and they're all sort of sharing the same uh, tech and... Oh, right now I'm in Clip Studio, and the reason is uh, Photoshop was just screwing up way too much. And the thing is, it's it's fixable in that, oh, yeah, you just keep uh, drawing or you restart your computer and stuff, and it sounds like, fine, that's, that's okay. But really, it interrupts the workflow a lot. Like, um, for me anyway, when I'm drawing, I sort of get in a certain zone, and then to have the tablet or the display stop working, um, it really pushes me out of that. Um, so <laughs> I'm not, I'm not happy about that. Um, when you started using it though, it was better, right? It was better. Like it was really, uh, alarming when it started screwing up. But then when I found the workaround of just like either saving the file, sometimes it just works when you switch to, I don't know, spot heating brush or an eraser and you just do a few strokes and it, then it keeps, but it's very time consuming. And as you said, it just takes you out of your workflow. And even if you're just trying to learn how to use it, it's very disruptive. Yeah. And uh, so, but you liked it better than the companion. Yeah. The yeah. Companion. After, after using the companion, it was a very, very welcome change because it's much more responsive and it actually it connects to an actual computer, which means you can use more of the resources, whereas the companion is very, I don't know, lightweight. You can't do that much. You can't process big files with it. You can't really work on normal sized paintings and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm also trying out Clip Studio Paint uh, for the first time, really. And uh, that's why I'm using probably the wrong tools. I'm using opaque watercolor. And Clip Studio Paint, for people who don't know, is uh, it's the Japanese version of, or Manga Studio is the English version of Clip Studio Paint. Um, and so it's pretty much the same thing as Manga Studio, if you're familiar with Manga Studio. Um, but my hard drive died uh, with Manga Studio, and so uh, I had to, because I only had the digital version, I needed to reinstall and whatever. So now I have Clip Studio Paint because it's much cheaper. I got it on sale for like 20, 20 euros. 20 euros. Yeah. And it's normally 40 something, which is still not bad. But anyway, moving moving on from that. Um, yeah, with 
Clip Studio Paint, it sometimes stopped working too. So like that time was a time the program just stopped working. And what happened is, it seems it's pretty much just driver issues. Yeah, it's got a lot of driver conflicts, even with a monitor and stuff. Yeah, and there's, um, like the pen is rechargeable. Like you have to plug it in to a, po to a USB power charging thing and then it charges the pen. But they, they act like that's a feature. <laughs> like, rechargeable pen whereas usable with, with right and left hand yeah yeah they wrote <laughs> usable with right and left hand like yeah that's kind of how pens work <laughs> <laughs> you can use both eyes to view our tablet <laughs> not just one dual eye function capability um and then, uh it was like the screen's okay it's pretty clear um, sort of but in terms of colors, it's not accurate. Um, so you need to calibrate it. Because right now, uh, you can see I'm, I'm painting, right? Um, and I don't know. I, I don't know what your monitor is like, obviously, whoever's you who are watching this. I don't know what your monitor is like. But uh, for me, um, I'm using a different monitor right now. And I painted the hair, and it looks pretty red. But on the uh, XP pen, that looked very pink. And it seems the colors get a lot brighter than they actually are. And that's after calibration, because I did calibrate it. Oh, okay. And I matched it as much to the to the regular monitor as I could. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't, it just, it, it won't <laughs> achieve the same color range and stuff. Yeah. So but the surface is pretty nice. The resolution's good. Yeah, the resolution's good and the surface feels pretty nice, except for how they sent it. Uh, which is like a screen protector, which comes separately and you have to unstick it from their protective sheath and then you have to manually attach it to your XP pen. It's like an IKEA yeah. product. Yeah. You take it home and assemble you have to, like, it yourself. Peel it off this paper backing thing. Yeah. And then you put it on and then there's air bubbles and they give you a little squeegee to squeegee out the air bubbles. And that sounds nice, except it didn't work at all. It didn't work, and because it's staticky, like, it, it traps everything. It traps all the dust particles, and they show up. Like, they don't seem to affect the drawing, which is good. Like, the pen to, to tablet thing, uh, the connection is pretty good. But it does look horrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks and it feels to the, to the hand, like you feel the little bumps. Well, yeah, because you see these air bubbles. Yeah, with things trapped in them. <laughs> it's very Romanian. Well, um, yeah, so there's that, um, but it's not terrible to use, but here's the problem I'm having with all these, there's a ton of them, there's like UG, XP Pen, um, Artisal is, you, it's directly from UC Logic, there's Playon. Like Playon, yeah. um, and they do send a lot of these products to be reviewed, which is why you've probably not just seen this on my channel, but maybe other channels. Um, the one thing that really sucks to me is they're all going after Wacom in terms of price point. Um, so it's like, oh, this is a thousand euros cheaper than a 22 HD. That's cool that it's a thousand euros cheaper, but that's it. It's like, this is not a good solid product in terms of usability. It's maybe if I wasn't using better tools, sure. Um, but even for an amateur, I think you're, sp you're still spending 600 euro, uh, and it's very hit and miss or $600. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would rather just get like, uh, Wacom Intuos for 200 no, or 300 uh, dollars cheaper than that, like an Intuos medium. Um, and then that would, or even a Apple, uh, iPad pro or something just Something that works, it's like, it doesn't have to be fancy, but it has to be reliable. So, for instance, they don't have the shortcut keys. I don't care. That's fine. You don't yeah. have shortcut keys. But your driver shouldn't be screwing up this much. Yeah. And with the tech support people, it's sort of like, well, you know, we haven't had this issue. Well, sure, you can say that. But the fact that I've had a few of these products and they all have driver issues, it's like, well... I mean, maybe it's just me, but it seems like I've heard other people saying similar things. So, yeah. um, the stand is really good. Yeah, the stand is really nice and very um, adjustable and very like I like the 
the size and stuff of the tablet. Mm -hmm. It's really good for a girl, I guess. Yeah, it's good. It's better in, in a sense than the 22 HD in terms of the size because the 22 HD, uh, sorry, it is a 22 HD. The, the Cintiq 22 HD is, uh, it's a bit bigger. Yeah, it's very clunky and it very feels, hard yeah. to adjust. Yeah, but um, this one's, it's thinner and it's more streamlined. Well, and it's very light compared to the Cintiq. Yeah. Um, the other thing was the cables. They were pretty short. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty short and they were sort of mismatched and stuff. <laughs> yeah, they have like a blue USB cable. And the white one and then... For no reason. Yeah, and then they're super, super short. So it's it's very hard to adjust it in terms of positioning on your desk. <laughs> yeah. Um, so longer cables, that would be nice. Um, but... I wish they would have sent it to artists for, for beta testing instead of for reviewing. Yeah. Like, I really do... Because they, they seem to be responding in terms of, oh, their tech support and their PR people are doing an okay job, but they haven't entirely thought it through. Mm -hmm. That's putting the cart before the horse, I think. Um, and things like uh, the screen protector, like, maybe they could put it on? <laughs> and, and so yeah, like, maybe they could, yeah. You know, here's a squeegee and here. <laughs> <For> <laughs> your cause, air bubbles, because it took us a half a day or something to get it to a uh, sort of okay state. It doesn't look like it's okay. It doesn't look like it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, we got some of the air bubbles out. Yeah, some are just trapped. In well, we did spend a lot of... Yeah, I spent... Like, it wasn't the whole day. No, about how I spent a lot of time on... <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, like put the screen protector on. What I'm thinking is it's just in the factory and they're putting on the screen protector and it's too hard and they keep getting air bubbles and it's like, nah, let's just send it to them and they can figure it out. Because the thing is, um, without the screen protector, the surface isn't that nice at all. Yeah. Um, it's just glass. And then with the screen protector, it's much better. So this screen protector is yeah, it feels it's nice. good. It's it's like you need it in yeah. terms of having it on there. It's just mm -hmm. it would be nice if it came with that. Um, and then uh, what else? Driver issues, like really. So bad. instead of putting your money in like promotion and marketing and stuff, just hire some people to really make the driver solid. Um, and maybe that's I don't know how hard it is to. To, yeah, it seems like that. it seems like they took a business model that doesn't necessarily relate to art, and they didn't understand what's important to artists. Yeah, a functional tool is much much better than a nice looking tool. Because, I mean, I still like my old Intos three, which isn't that pretty, but it works, and that's just that's the most important thing. So, uh, would I recommend this? Uh, no. <laughs> Not for the price, even though it's a, it's fine, like, eh. If you're okay with restarting your computer, or maybe you'll get lucky and... Though. Yeah, it's not, like, the, the hardware is okay, but the software uh, needs work. And anyway, so I hope this helped, and thanks for watching.